Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy last day of September. Holy cow. And welcome to day number 28 of our 77 day video challenge. I am Chris Poole. It's been an extremely long day. I got up at 4 a.m. I was on the road by about three minutes after five this morning. Two and a half hour drive to the Dells, eight hours of training, and two and a half hours drive home. Drive this morning, lots of fog, had to be careful. Drive home tonight, sunny, bright, beautiful fall day. Extremely tired, and I'm thinking, oh, I do not want to try and think of a topic to talk about tonight. Ooh, in my desk drawer, I have table topics, the card game. Once I started thinking of the cards, however, reminded me of a story that I'd like to share with you. Back in July, my coworker, Shane, he had, he kind of find out, found out that he'd be homeless for about a week, week and a half. He had sold his old house, but he could not move into his new house for that week and a half time frame. He could have stayed with his wife, who was still living with her parents, but it would be at least an hour and a half drive to work in the morning, hour and a half at home at night. Gets to be an extremely long day. I said, come on over to my house. I've got the extra bedroom. We can work out a bathroom schedule. He and I got along extremely well at work. He is my personality. He is me in male form, much prettier and cuter than me and thinner. And he's, he's a young male or young Fred Savage. That's what he reminds me of. Absolute hoot. And he stayed and it ended up being the two weeks that Troy was in the hospital. So I was never home alone for more than a half hour or so at a time. He and I, we would stay up late talking. That was probably our only issue we had. We stayed up too late talking and we still didn't have enough time to talk. One of the nights we played cribbage. So I was teaching him how to play. Well, he had played it a long time ago. So we did a little refresher. After we were done, I, you know, I, I let him win, really, I did. After we were done playing, I said, oh, I have a, a, a magic trick I can show you with the cards. And I lay out all the cards, and I have him pick piles, have him pick cards, and I threw down the last card, and I said, that's your card. And he looks at me, said, okay, if that's what you're telling me, and I start laughing. I forgot to do the first part of the trick where he actually picked out his own card and then I figured out what card it was. Did the trick again the proper way and he thought it was fantastic. When I used to work over at our probation office, I did this trick for a couple of our agents. The one said, holy, how did you do that? It was hilarious. I've been doing this card trick probably since I was about nine or 10 years old. So it was kind of embarrassing for me that I forgot to do the first part of the trick, but maybe that's just because I'm starting to get older and a little bit more forgetful. <laughs> that is all that I'm going to share tonight because it is late and I want to crawl back into bed and sleep in until at least 5.30 tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll see how late my bladder lets me stay in bed, though. Have a great night, everyone. Sweet dreams. We will see you tomorrow.